guys, it's me, Stormy, and we have a new moon in Aries to be rapping about tonight. So let's talk about what's going on here. Now, this new moon is going to be happening April 15th at 28 degrees of Aries, and this is an exciting new moon, you guys, because not only is it in the sign of Aries, which is a go energy, it's a cardinal energy, it's a starting energy. This is a springtime new moon. So the new moon itself is about new beginnings, planting those seeds of intention, right? Right? But here we are in spring where everything's trying to rebegin. There is rejuvenation everywhere, growth, new attitudes, not new ideas, new people, new animals coming to our planet, right? Like things are being born, reborn again. This is no different because this new moon is also in conjunction with Uranus. So this is like a cosmic conspiracy to allow you to begin something new and in a positive way. This is a time to make that fresh start, have that clean slate, make new decisions in romantic relationships, bring a relationship back to life, right? Bring your action, bring your drive, bring your initiative back to life. Lots and lots of new beginnings is what's absolutely available to us here. So let's take a look at the astrology of this moon. Okay, so let's take a look at what we've got going on right here on the chart. So this is beautiful because we can see here that not only do we have the new moon, and if you've never heard about the new moon or your first time listening in with me, the new moon is about ending a cycle and beginning another new 28 day cycle, right? So there's, there's new beginnings here right? The sun and the moon are right here. They're hanging out. They're together. This is a brand new opportunity for fresh beginnings. It's really a beautiful time. So when you hear somebody talk about the new moon, know that this is fresh start, new beginning, new project, new attitude, energy. A great time to shed old beliefs, old habits, old patterns, things like that. Now, the cycle of the moon now, the effects of the April 15th new moon, right? This one we're going to be having is going to last us about four weeks until we get to the May 15th new moon. So this is, again, in that four weeks, the best time to make these changes, okay? Now, when we look at the astrology of this moon, what we can see here is, first of all, the new moon is in conjunction with Uranus, but placement by placement, we see that the sun also forms this conjunction here with Uranus. And this is a beautiful aspect because it's, it's, it's changing, it's exciting, it's fresh, it's something new, right? You could feel this desire because remember, the sun is my vitality my life, my movement, my essence. And then Uranus wants to do it different and he wants freedom. So you could feel like, I wanna break free. I wanna do something different. I wanna, I, I wanna taste different things. I wanna have a different experience, right? So this could be this kind of rebellious break free energy you have, which is phenomenal. Because what else Uranus does is kind of crack us open. It gives us this intuitive decision making, this intuitive thought, connects us to some higher vibrations. Um, your psychic perceptions could be very high. So it's a wonderful, energy for being very open-minded. I wouldn't be surprised if different kinds of people pop into your world or you decide that you just really want to go see or be a part of a show that you've just like never seen before in your life. Now what's challenging about this placement a little bit guys is that it can be very restless. This is a high amount of energy, right? So if you can, do things to get your physical body moving. Right? We're not just sitting around like shaking in our boots or having that nervous anxiety. You want to actually be doing something to get the excess energy out of your system. It's beautiful, but too much of a good thing is still just too much. Now, other aspects that we see here is we've got Venus in a trine to Pluto here. We've got Venus opposite Jupiter, Jupiter in a sextile to Pluto, and Mars in a sextile to Neptune. So let's talk about each of those. So first and foremost, we've got Venus in that trine to Pluto. This is intense. Pluto is intense. Venus is passionate, um, sensual, right? Joyful, harmonious, beauty, 
um, there's a desire to be affectionate here. And then Pluto kind of brings in this sexual piece as well. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if in relationships there's a little bit of intensity. There feels like maybe even a little bit of karma around people that you meet, especially romantic um, people or financial decisions that you're making where it just kind of feels like you were just drawn towards it. It felt like it just fit in perfectly. That's actually a very good energy um, to have there, but I really feel like with the Pluto energy, um, the intensity comes around a lot of affection because that's what Venus is about. And that trine is a, a beautiful pocket of energy. So if you are looking to have new romance in your life, this is a new moon. This is a wonderfully intense aspect. You could definitely be creating something new here. Now we've got Jupiter in a sextile to that Pluto, which is another great aspect to have at the new moon because it's it's an intense wisdom is what I like to look at that as. Pluto brings the intensity, Jupiter brings the wisdom and the opportunity. So really it's kind of a, a, a spiritual, personal opportunity to show what you know, right? To say, um, Here's what I've learned over the years. Here's what I'm bringing to the table. We've got Pluto up here in Capricorn. So this could definitely have something to do with achieving something or something in your professional career or something like that. Now we've also got Venus here in an opposition to Jupiter, which these are our two biggest benefic planets. They always want to bring ben benefit. <laughs> and so when they are in opposition to each other, um, they're still pretty friendly, even in, even in an opportunity mode with each other. But one of the things that you do have to be mindful of is that they don't make you overindulgent or that you don't let them crash your motivation to get things done because they're very luxurious and expansive. You know what I mean? You may feel like, oh, I am really down here trying to dig for this motivation. And let me tell you, when Venus and Jupiter are interacting like this, motivation is crap. You do not need motivation. You need to remember that you don't have to want to do something to be able to do it and have it be successful because they will just make you feel like everything needs to be a vacation. You just really need to sit down. So that can be a challenging energy, but it's also kind of fun if you've been trying to relax, really lean into that. Now we see Mars here in a sextile to, to Neptune. This is, again, I think leans into that Uranus opening of the psychic sense. I think that this makes you highly compassionate. It can make you a lot more sensitive. For some of you, depending on where it's hitting in your chart, you could receive some healing or you could be ready to receive some healing. So many of us have been reframing our ideas of faith and our beliefs and things like that. So this could also be a time where you're actually speaking up for your newfound faith, your, your spiritual energy, your beliefs and things like that. It's a wonderful energy with Mars in a sextile to Neptune to create art and to go out and to give and be willing to receive forgiveness as well. So really beautiful energies around this moon, you guys. This new moon's gonna give us this, this kind of fresh energy, that fresh start that puts you in a position where not only do you have your spiritual energies on fire, but I think you can also go out and be flexible and open-minded enough to watch something new unfold because there is no point in trying to go out and manifest and ask for help with something if you're not willing to do it different. And I think that this new moon is really a setup to be able to do that. And you're going to do it like an Aries. And remember, Aries and Mars energy, yes, they go. Yes, there is action. Yes, they begin things, but they do this. They're not all over the place. It's very focused right here kind of energy. So let's use this, start something new. Put a manifestation out there, start working on it, heal up these relationships, allow yourself to express some of this art, this beauty, and this creativity, and definitely whatever you try to manifest at this new moon, I look forward to seeing how it came out for you over the next four weeks as we get in here into May. All right, guys, like this video, comment, share, subscribe. If you haven't grabbed your 37,000 subscriber gift, get it, it is over this weekend. Spring cleaning is open or over next weekend. All right, guys, I'm sending you lots of love. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I think I said that already, but I must really want you to do it. <laughs> All right, you guys, I love you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.